Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the disease called Ascariasis. Ascariasis is a disease caused by a member of Ascalminthus known as Ascaris limbricoids. Ascaris limbricoids is commonly called as roundworm. As you all know, roundworm has been living in a man since many years or from time immemorial. It is cosmopolitan in distribution, means it is present worldwide. It is a macroscopic, pale white, long slender tube-like worm which measures up to 50 cm. This Ascaris limbricoid shows sexual dimorphism means sexes are separate and the sexes like male and female can easily distinguished externally. Males are smaller in size when compared to female with the pointed curved posterior end whereas female is longer when compared to male with the blunt straight posterior end. This adult Ascaris limbricoids, both male and female, as I already told, is present or live in the intestine of the man as an endoparasite and it freely lives in the lumen of the intestine. This Ascaris is mainly asymptomatic, but symptoms of this disease appears depends on the number of adult worms present in the intestine. When there is a large number or many number of adult worms are present in the intestine, the symptoms of the ascariasis like abdominal discomfort, cramps, abdominal swelling, fever, diarrhea, nausea, internal bleeding, intestinal blockage are very common. And these symptoms of ascariasis appears only when there is a large number of adult worms are present in the intestine. Now let me discuss about the life history of roundworm. The life cycle of Ascaris limbricoids is monogenetic in nature. Monogenetic means it requires only one host to complete its life cycle and the host is obviously man. The copulation of adult male and female Ascaris limbricoids takes place in the intestine of the host means intestine of man. After the union of sperm and egg, a fertilized egg or zygote develops inside the body of female Ascaris lumbricoids. Soon it develops three layer around it. The inner thick clear layer, middle lipoidal layer means it is made up of fat granules and the outer layer is warty and it is brown in color. This three layered or shelled fertilized egg is present inside the body of female Ascaris limbricoids. Now this female Ascaris limbricoids lay that shelled fertilized egg into the intestine of the host that is intestine of the man. A single female Ascaris limbricoids can lay up to 15,000 to 2 lakhs of this fertilized egg per day. And now these fertilized eggs are present in the intestine of the host body. Soon this fertilized egg pass out of the host body along with the feces. Now this fertilized egg fall on the soil and it can remain alive for months together in the moist soil. Anyhow complete drying of the soil can kill them. This fertilized egg cannot undergo further development inside the intestine of the human body because it requires temperature, moisture and oxygen lower than the human body. That's why this fertilized egg comes out of the human body along with the feces. The early stages of development like cleavage and all takes place in the soil itself. So fertilized egg undergo cleavage and segmentation and finally forms infective juvenile. This infectious juvenile is formed within the shell of the egg itself. Infections to new host that is a new healthy individual takes place when he ingests that infected egg through the contaminated food or water. So when that healthy individual swallow this infectious egg through the contaminated food or water it enters intestine. In the intestine this infective egg hatches into small microscopic infective larva. This infective larva will not undergo any development in the intestine now. Instead, it bore through the wall of the small intestine and it enters blood circulation or lymphatic system. Through this blood circulation or lymphatic system, it takes a small trip to different organs of that infected individual. First, it enters liver. 
From the liver, it take a short trip to heart. From the heart, it finally reaches lungs. In the lungs, it enters alveoli and in the alveoli, it molds twice to form fourth stage juvenile. At this stage, that infected person may experience symptoms like wheezing, shortness of breath, cough, etc. After staying for about 10 days in the lungs, these larvae enter throat where it will be coughed up and it will be swallowed into esophagus. From the esophagus, this larva finally reaches intestine for the second time. Once this larva reaches the intestine for the second time, it develops into male or female Ascaris lumbricoids. In the intestine, this male and female Ascaris lumbricoids again mate to form an X of next generation and the cycle repeats to infect a new individual. So that is how Ascaris lumbricoids lives in the human intestine and causes Ascariasis. I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.